Hi, welcome back to the Shiko SAT review series again. And uh, in this unit, we're going to talk about angles, triangles, and symmetric functions here. From the video number one, we already covered the first topic. You know, you know, we cover some very basic ideas about uh, what the sum of the triangles, quadrilateral, and some special angle, like a supplementary angle and the complementary angle and the vertical angle. And uh, so today we're going to go to our second topics and that's will be our video number two. So we're going to talk about uh, some special angle associated with parallel line. And also we go going to uh, talk about uh, one special type of triangle is isosceles triangles. And uh, what are the good properties we have for the isosceles triangle? Okay, so let's uh, go down to a quick review. Those are the problems we did in the video number one here. So total we have uh, five problems here. Now for the video number two, we're going to go over the next four sets of problems, like the topic we discussed before. Okay, so now before we start the video two, let's, um, before we start it, let's go back to the, the whiteboard, okay? So, okay, so for the video two, before we do anything, let's do a quick review. And uh, that's what uh, I put here. This is uh, what our review says. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the isosceles triangle. So what is the isosceles triangles here, right? So the isosceles triangle, that means you have uh, triangles here. And the two of the lengths, so like for example, this one and this one, they are equal. So if this is the angle A, B, C, C here, right? So if two sides of the triangle, that's why I use the notation, like I put it here, that means the angle, that's the side A, B equal to B, C, right? So this is what we call the Easter. I saw this triangle. I saw this triangle have one very good properties here. That means uh, the two angles. So this is the angle, and this is the angle. As you can see, I use the same color, right? That means this angle face the, the two equal sign. That means I saw this triangle here. What do we have here? That means the angle A will be equal to the angle C here because it's a true, this is what we call this isosceles triangles, right? And then the same way, the lens, right? So that means these two lens will be equal, AB equal to the BC. Of course, then like for the angle B is here, right? So I don't know what is the angle B, right? So like a typical problem they will ask you. So for example, you give an angle B, so you will basically like you can find, for example, here, like the angle A would just be, you know, you use the 180 degrees minus the angle B, right? And then the what divided by two, because angle A and angle C are the same here. So that's the typical property we're going to use for the isosceles. You know, so we have three angles, two of them, and the one that face the equal sides will be, you know, will be equals here, right? So, and then in order to find one of this one, you just use 180 because I know all the three angles, when you add them together is 180, right? And then you minus the angle B divided by two will give one of the angles here. All right, so now, also the next things here, we're going to talk about uh, several um, special angles related to the you know, the related to the parallel lines here. So the first angles we're going to, first type of we're going to talk about is alternating interior angles. So if these are the two lines uh, uh, parallel, okay? So let's assume this is the L line and the M line are parallel. Now you have a line kind of goes through that. Those, this is around we call this a transversal lines, right? So if you remember that, this is we call this the transversal, right? And now I'm going to use the color codings, right? 
So the color coding, that means if they have the same color, then they are equal. So what is the interior? The interior, that means it's inside these two parallel lines. So this angle and this angle, these two, we call this alternating. The reason why it's alternating is because they go to one is in this side, one in this side. As you can see, I used the green color on both. That means the alternate interior angles, these two will be the same. So the same way here, you can have these angles here. This is also inside, right? Inside the parallel line. So these angles here and these angles, right? They are alternate, right? The one is in this side of transversal, other one is the other one. And so these two, because they are both purple color, so you know they are equal. That's what we call this alternating interior angles, okay? So then now the next ones here, we're going to talk about uh, alternating exterior. Okay, so alternating exterior angle. So I'm still got to have a two parallel lines. So this is LM. This is my transversal lines here. So what is the alternating exterior, right? That means outside these two, right? So now that means outside these two. So one is in here because it's alternate. So that means the other one will be the other side. So it will be here. And like you see, I use the color coding, so you know these two are the signs here, right? Then the same way is here, you can say, hey, how about this angle? Yeah, absolutely, right? So this angle, so where is the alternating exterior? Is this angles, right? As you can see, they have the same color. That means they are the same, right? Okay, so now let's take a look. The next ones here, we call this corresponding, right? Okay, so what is the correspondence here? The corresponding, so let's see here, if you have two parallel lines here, the corresponding, that means they are, you know, one is the in, inside, one is the outside here. So let me see here, so let me color it for you. So corresponding, this angle, corresponding for the line L and this angle corresponding to the line M. That's why we call this corresponding. This is L, this is M, right? And so this ones here we say is what they are equal also, right? So how about you say, can I have a corresponding here? Like this angle? Oh, absolutely, right? So this angle and this angle, those are the corresponding angle, they are the signs, right? Then what other corresponding angle we can have? Hey, we can have these ones here. One is outside, one is inside, right? So these two will be the same so here. Do we have any other one? Yes. Let's see here, which color I miss. Okay, so here, this will be the other corresponding angles, right? One is inside. Y is outside here, right? So remember the same color. So the corresponding angle, they are also equals, right? Okay, now the next thing here we're going to talk about is a consecutive. We call it consecutive interior angle. Okay, so the consecutive interiors here, maybe I can put a little bit smaller so I have a space to put uh, my other ones here. I don't want to go to the next page. Okay, so here. Okay, this is L, this is M, this is my transversal. So what is the consecutive interior angles here, right? That means they both, uh, you know, the interior and they are right next to each other. That's what I mean. So I'm going to use the colors here, right? So here, 
Okay, so this is the, this one's here. So the consecutive, right? That means they are right next to each other is the interior. So the, let me put it here. So that means here, these two, they are, we call it is the consecutive interior. So the consecutive interior, they do have a properties. So what is property here? That means the yellow angle plus the green angle, okay? The green angle, so right? So the yellow angle plus the green angle, I don't know what is the name, I cannot say A, so I just say the, yellow angle plus the green angles, right? So yellow angle plus the green angle, what is they going to equal to? It's 180. So we know the consecutive interior angle, they are supplementary angles here. So you will ask, are these two other sub consecutive interior like this one and uh, this one? Absolutely, right? So when you add these two, what it give you? 180s here. That's what we call it the consecutive interior angles here. Okay, so now let's just take a look at another one. So we call it the consecutive exterior angle. Okay, so that means in here I have two parallel lines and have a transversal lines. So what is the consecutive uh, exterior? That means they both outside, right? So let's see here. So my color coding here. So this one is one of them. It's a consecutive, so they both outside. So what is my other ones here? My other one is here, right? So as you see, I used the different color. So that's still the same. That means uh, the green angle, plus the yellow angle, what are going to be? Green angle plus the yellow angle is what? It's 180. So I know the consecutive angles, they are supplementary angles, right? So and you will see, how about the other side? Yes, absolutely. So like this one's here and uh, this one's here, right? They both, they are the consecutive out. You know, they are both the consecutive uh, exterior, they are outside the parallel lines, right? So if you add these two, it will be 180 degrees. So they are the supplementary angles here. So this is the, this reviews here. So make sure that I saw this triangle, that means the bottom two are the same, then the, those are the special angles here. They are all you know, like the alternate, alternating the interior, alternate exterior, corresponding, they are all equal. Then consecutive, they are supplementary angles. All right, so now let's take a look at the practice problems here. Okay, so now let's take a look at my F problem F here. So I have two lines L and N, they are parallel to each other. And uh, also the problem given angle Y, this angle is 20. And the angle Z, this one's here is a what? It's the 60s here, right? So those are givens, right? So those are given. So that's why I mark it. So this is a 60 and this is 20. I'm going to find the X. So in order to find the X here, so, so this is a 60. So I know if I can find this angle, the orange angle, then I can use the 180 property to find the X, right? So let's take a look at the orange angle. Let's call the angle A. So what type of the orange angle and the Y, right? So what is that? So they are, okay, so they are in what? They are both on the same side of the transversal. So in here, I know the angle A is equal to Y. Why? Because this is what we call the what type of angle? We call this is a correspondence, right? 
because they are on the same side of the transversal. So I know that means my orange is here. This one's here is what? It's 20 degrees here, correct? Okay, so now after I know that, then the problem becomes easy because now I know x plus 20 plus 60. So what is this one going to give to me? Going to give me 180. So that means x plus 80 is equal to 180. So you minus 80 minus 80. So what is your x here? X is 100, right? Okay, so that's what we got the answers here. Okay, so now let's take a look at the other one. Okay, so the, these ones here, they say the RT equal to TU. So let's mark it, RT equal to TU. That means boom, 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 RT is this lines, right? Equal to TU is this line. So I know, oh, I have a isosceles triangles here. And uh, they want to find the X. X is here. Let's mark it. This is the angle. Okay, so this is the angle I'm looking for. Okay, so this one's here. I said, okay, I'm going to get that. Okay, so first uh, you will see, hey, this is isosceles. We know if it's isosceles, then these two angles will be what? Will be equal, right? Right, so those two, because this is isosceles triangle, so I can find, uh, so if I find a U, I can find uh, the other ones here. So I will say the angle U, right? So it will be equal to what? Will be equal to 180 minus 114 divided by two, right? The reason why I divided by two, because U and R are the same, right? So 180, Let's see the 180 minus 114 divided by two. So what is here? So this is what, 33 degrees, correct? Okay, so now this one here is 33 degrees. And uh, because the angle S was given, this angle is 31, right? So this angle is 31. Then I can find, uh, let me use a different, uh, so I don't know which color is better. Oh, maybe here, okay. So, and then I can know these angles, right? So this is the angle SVU, right? So this is the brown color. So this is the angle SVU, right? Okay, so now by using the 180s properties, right? So I know the angle, SVU plus 31, right? So I'm looking for the triangles, right? Plus 33 is equal to what? 180s, right? So I'm looking the triangle SVU, right? So I'm looking this big triangle SVU. So what is the 31 plus 32? So angle SVU is equal to, well, so angle so 31 plus 33 is what? It's 64 equal to the 180. So you minus 64 minus 64. So the angle SVU is equal to 180 minus 64 and it's 116. Okay, 116. That's why I use the properties of the triangle. So now I can know my angle X here, right? So my angle X here, so plus the angle SVU is equal to what? 180. Why? Why is equal to 180? Ah, because they are what? They are supplementary. They are supplementary angles, right? Okay, so I know that then the angle X is a plus 116 equal to 180. So you minus 116, uh, minus 116. So what do you end up to your angle X is here? Angle X is here is 64, correct? Okay, so that's how do we get the angles here. 
like I said, you know, sometimes the student get a scale, they look at the graph and they say, oh my gosh, this graph looks very complicated. But in fact, it's not, you know. So that's why I say if you color it, it will make the things pop, right? So it will show up, all right? Okay, so now let's take a look at the next ones here. So this ones here, so I know the NP equal to QP and the MP equal to PR. Now I'm looking for the QMR. Okay, so let's try to color my, my color, you know, the lens they give us. MP equal to QP, all right? MP equal to QP. All right, so MP, let me color. So MP, so let me see this line equal to this line. Okay, then the other colors here is MP equal to PR, MP, so it's this side. Right, so NP equal to PR is this side. Okay, so it's NP equal to PR. Okay, now I'm going to find the, you know, the QMRs here. Huh. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay, so I have a 60 degree, 70 degrees. Ah, I saw you, right? So. I see, hey, I can find this angle, the green one, right? So the green angle, this is the angle NPR, right? So the green angle. So I know the green angle plus 60, right? 60 degrees. Okay, so I know the green angle plus 60 is going to equal to what? 180. Why again? Why? Because uh, supplementary again, right? Okay, so it's a supplementary angles again. So now I can, <clears throat> so NPR will be equal to how many? <coughs> 180 minus 60 is 120. Yeah, that's good. So this is 120. And I know the triangle NPR is isosceles because I grabbed it, right? So I know this angle, the, so I know this angle and the angle we are looking for here, they are the same, right? So they are the same angle. So I know the angle QMR will be just what, 180? minus 120 and then divided by what? Divided by two, right? Because those two angles are equal. So this will be 60 divided by two. So what is the angles here? This is 30, right? So it's pretty straightforward, right? So you, that's why the test use here, they, they use, a, that's why they use the isosceles triangle. And then sometimes, you know, for the SAT, they're going to throw in some extra information, like in here, the NP equal to QP. They kind of try to confuse you with that, but you know, after you do that, and then you do a step by step, right? And then you find it. Okay, so the last problem for this video is here. We're going to talk about, uh, okay, so we're going to talk about uh, is a uh, hundred, you know, for this graph here, right? So, First, uh, you need to know when they do this dot mean, that means uh, this line equal to this line. That's what they use like those things equal, right? So then here, that means uh, this one equal to this one, right? So they say they give you y, z, and the x here. So they say y is 75. You want to find x, so that's this little light blue one, so I put one. Okay, so let's see how do we find it. Y equal to 75. Well, okay, so they are giving us, so I can find Z. So this is 180 minus Z equal to two times the 75, right? Because Y is equal to 75. So this is 180 minus Z, 275 is what? 150, right? So the Z is equal to what? Z is equal to 30, correct? Okay, so Z is equal to 30. Okay, so after you see the Z equal to 30, so this is 30. And uh, 
So z is equal to 30 is here. Okay, so this is a 30, I'm sorry. Yeah, 30, I think so, 30. Okay, and because this is isosceles triangle, so I know this angle, the one I colored, will be equal to this angle, right? So this angle will be equal to this angle. So let's say this angle, let's call it this orange angle, it's A, angle A is here. Then we use the trial isosceles triangle property again. So I know that angle A is equal to what? Equal to 180 minus 30 divided by what? Divided by two, right? So this is 150 divided by two is equal to what? 75. Right, so that's angle A. Now I know the angle X plus angle A is equal to what? 180. Why again? Supplementary, right? So did you see how many supplementary angles we property we use? So that's why it's extremely important we know all those basic definitions. So then the angle X and the angle A is 75 is 180. So you minus 75 minus 75. So what do you get here? The X is equal to 180 minus 75 is will give you 108, right? Okay, good job. So let's, uh, how do we find the different angles? So that's it for the video number two here. Remember, right? So the isosceles triangle is very, very important, right? Isosceles triangle, then the angles face two equal signs. They are equal here. So as you can see, all these four problems use it. And also they use the sum of the parallel line properties about the angle. So you need to remember what is the alternating angle, the corresponding angle, and the consecutive, right? And what are the good properties they have here. And uh, that's it. Okay. So if you like this video, and feel free to subscribe my channel. And also, if you have questions, leave me a comment, and I will try to clear out for you. Okay, so that's good. And uh, I'm looking forward for the next uh, uh, next video. The next video we're going to talk about is a special right triangle. That means with the 90 degrees angles. So here we're going to talk two special right triangles. And uh, then let's see. Okay, so that's it for this video. And uh, don't forget to practice, right? Okay, nice to talk to you and looking forward to talk to you again. Okay, bye.